Use this play to set up a big play opportunity in the strong H open flex formation out of the Packers playbook. Coming up next. Hey, this is Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, I want to go into the second part of the strong H open flex. Now, I want to let you know this is a meta-free zone. I'm not going to be showing you tips and strategies that have already been mass-produced by other people. I try to provide you with original content. So if you guys are looking for original tips to go ahead and expand your playbook and not think, see things that were just stolen from, from tournaments, you want to go ahead and hit the subscribe to, uh, to my, my channel because I provide you all original different types of formations breakdowns. Now, this is going to be a second part uh, of a series. Uh, the first play I actually showed you was a play action motion shot. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and show the Z spot, and this is going to allow you to go ahead and attack underneath uh, in different areas of the field, uh, basically make it a difficult for your opponent to go and stop this. Now we're going to run this against, uh, basically the first concept we're going to run this is against cover four, random cover fours, and then we're going to do ba basically uh, go from there. Now uh, this is how my, my reads are going to go. I'm going to basically look to the flat right away. My next area is I'm going to look to Cobb um, on, uh, on a lob pass uh, if I get one-on-one -on -one coverage. And then I'm going to be looking to Nelson across the middle and then obviously Allison. I, I find that in cover four and a lot of different cover coverages, the spot actually gets covered up by defender. So it's not as effective as it has in, in the past. So we're going to look to running back, Cobb, Nelson, and then obviously the spot routes. So those are going to be basically the areas we're going to go with. So cover four coverage, if defender does not fall in the area, uh, we're going to go ahead and just make our progressions uh, like that. So I'm going to just do instant replay um, one time just go ahead and show you uh, what I was looking at I was looking at my reads just to see if a defender actually falls out now this flat route should be wide open uh, but as you can see a defender actually comes chasing out and actually he comes chasing out and then sticks I probably could have hit that flap uh, but because I saw a defender actually fouling uh, the running back, I just went ahead and made the next progression. Went up to here, uh, and then I saw this defender actually falling back. But the way this play uh, works is that I know that this inside cut is usually going to get wide open against my opponent. So that, that's probably what, uh, that's why I went ahead and, and did the good completion, got a, got a good 15-yard gain on that. So once again, we're going to be looking uh, at, the, at the running back, uh, Cobb, and then Nelson. And just do a little motion. And as you can see right here, the flat is wide open. That's going to be the area they're going to take a look at. I'm going to run this one more time in cover four and then just do random uh, random cover defenses. So I don't know what my what the computer is actually coming after me at. Uh, but you can see uh, it's just a little bit glitchy. Uh, with the cover four, you can definitely hit that flat. And you also got that deep end route. Now we're going to run this against random nickel defenses. So we got a double A gap right here. And once again, still the same progression, same reads and uh, go ahead and attack your opponent in the, uh, down in the flat. So I do uh, open grass looks, so I basically look to different areas of the field and see if I get open grass, uh, and then I actually make my progressions from there. So what's good about this particular play is that um, this allows you to go ahead and attack the flats, the underneath, uh, the over. It was going to open up that play action motion shot because you're giving your opponent the same type of a look uh, with this particular with this play. So once again, just go ahead uh, and then, you know, you could take the flat, you could take the over, uh, you can let these plays develop, especially if your opponent starts cheating down to the flat route, but that flat was right open. Now, also, you've got this deep corner out. I force that ball in there. That's basically what you want to be looking for is basically man coverage uh, for the deep corner. Um, a lot of times, it's going to get wide open. Uh, but you can see right see right here that's just uh, just forcing that ball in. So, But it really, you're going to be looking to those three route progressions. Those are going to be the areas that you're going to be looking at. Uh, you've got that deep crosser, uh, which can definitely get you some pretty good yards. So, guys, I hope you like this tip. Um, once again, uh, you do me if you could do me a favor, just go ahead and hit the like button if you actually sat through it. Also, I want to let you know that if you want to get this playbook well in advance, basically, I my Patreon members just for a dollar, um, they can get access to all of my uh, my ebooks well in advance. I've already produced some, uh, two different ebooks uh, for the entire Packers playbook. So, if you want to get this in advance, go to my Patreon account. the uh, The link is down in the notes. So, to my subscribers, thank your support. Uh, I hope you guys are, uh, this takes your game to the next level and until next time.